Shaper 1000 here. Today, well, we got old blue, the old, my old camera. I got it out here because I'm under the car, as you can see. And I don't want to knock over a thousand dollar camera, but the main reason is uh, my AX53 Sony will not fit under here. So I got old blue. Uh, we're going to take these bolts out here. There should be, yeah, there's one. Up here on top, and there's these two. We're going to take these out so I can move that header around so we can see if we can fix that uh, cross-threaded bolt hole. Uh, it's not stripped, but it has been cross-threaded. The bolt's not stuck. It's not broke off or anything like that. So hopefully I can get a tap in there and clean it up. Because Monday, we should have our gaskets, our header gaskets in, and our collector gaskets. We also got new bolts coming with them. So there's a whole pack. They're cheap. They're like 18 bucks. So I don't look for them to last a real long time, but so anyway, let's go ahead and let's start taking this off. Hey guys, the top one's gonna be a pain. It's looks like it's a nine sixteenths. So these these two are half inch. So these ones don't spin either. So this could be could be a pain once I get this header bolted back on to line these up with the header. We'll have to see, because <laughs> you should always bolt your header bolts up first. Because if you just get them started in here, you're down here pulling on this. You can break, you can snap them bolts off, or even pull them out of the holes, or bend them, and they don't want to work right. So you get the idea. I'm gonna get this last bolt out. Gotta go get a couple short wrenches, maybe a ratchet. I don't know. And then I'll meet you up top. All right. That's all. I wouldn't say it was about due. Yep, it's crumbling, falling apart in my hand. Alright. Now, we're going to head up top. Okay, guys, so that's the hole that was cross threaded. That's a little grease around there. Oops, sorry. That's a little grease around there. I got my tap set out. But I didn't need it because, let me see if I can hold you and do this here. It was only cross-threaded on like the first or second thread. And I took a regular header bolt and I stuck it in here. There it is. Whoops. This tire is hot. And I'm dropping tools. Okay. There it is. So we got lucky on that. So now I'm waiting for is the uh, gasket set and the new bolts. So that's that. Um, I could probably pull this wheel off of here see this doesn't want to turn I suspect that being the culprit I'm not too worried about the rust on the uh, on the rotor you know that'll clean itself off because it's not really super bad but so maybe I'll get my uh, maybe let's pull this wheel off 
And let's see what's going on with this thing. I'm not sure about the other side. Because I only got this side jacked up, see? I got a jack stand up front, and I got a jack stand on bottom down there. It was funny because, let me hold the camera straight, there it is. Uh, Bruno always likes to come out, sit in the vet, walk around the vet. And uh, he comes trotting out here like he always does. And you know how when a dog sees something that might spook him or startle him, they stop real quick. He's seen the vet up like that. There it is. And he stopped real quick. And he turned around and he looked at me. I said, it's okay, buddy. He looked at the vet and he turned around and looked at me. I said, it's okay, buddy. And he went back in the house. He's like, I don't want no part of that. Whatever's going on there. He looked at me like, Dad, the Corvette fainted. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and let's pull this wheel off of here. And, uh... See what's going on with that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and change cameras now. Okay guys, let's go ahead and pull this wheel off of here. It's got these dummy caps on. I've already loosened them. And then the these these actually screw on to the lug nut itself. And they got locks on them, so hopefully there is the key to it in the car and if not this is going to be a big pain I think this one this one huh. it's got a set screw in it wasn't even tightened alright well let me see if I can find the key for that. That one right there. Alright. Let me find the key for that, guys. Okay, guys, I found the little key. This is what it looks like here. This is the male side. It's got the corresponding female side in there. Come on. And there's only one way it'll go. There it is. Alright, now, let's pull this wheel off here real quick. It's not as hot as it has been. It's only a real feel of like 98. So, that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and get this wheel off of here. These are custom wheels, they're not the originals. The originals are really ugly. These ain't real bad, they're better than the originals, but I'm old school. I like, uh, remember the old SS Craigers and the Keystones, Keystone Classics, and the old Buick Special Wheels. Fortunately, I haven't been able to find a set for this, but they're fine all right let's pull this off here boy i hate working around this tire it looks like it's ready to explode in the sun all right. now it does have a spare but it's a donut my guess is <laughs> these fake things on here they're riveted on crap I mean they look alright but see that's a fake bleeder there's the real bleeder up here cause I gotta put a 
I gotta get a clamp on here and squeeze this together. I know it's not the wheel bearing because the wheel bearing's moving. So, yeah, he uh, riveted them on there. So I'm gonna have to let me get a screwdriver. I gotta, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do here. Yeah, they look cool from a distance, but they're not. Uh, Yeah, definitely riveted. You know, I mean, yeah, they look better. You know, they look better than that, but still, wouldn't that be up on top if it was a real bleeder? So, all right. Now, man, he's got a lot of paint on this thing. Could be the problem. All right, I gotta turn the wheel this way. And I gotta go get my C-clamp. Then uh, we'll try to squeeze them pistons back together and see if that'll free the wheel up. All right, guys, I got this all set up here. We're gonna try to push these pistons back in. this one let's go down there's two of them on here there that's the one I just felt it There it is. It was that bottom one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in. I'm going to pump up the brake pedal. Come out and do this as many times as it takes until it frees up on its own. All right, guys. I'm going to speed you up through this because it's just putting the wheel on. But I will speed you up. Let's get this on here. Uh, I went in, pushed brake pedal. It stuck again. And... I compressed it again, and then it was fine after that. The other side's fine. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. So let's go ahead and get this back on here. Okay guys, that's done. Another thing checked off the list. Um, checked the lights last night. Everything works, backup lights, everything. Except the brake lights. Turn signals work, which I thought on the 90s they worked on the same circuit as the brake lights, but I'm not positive about that. Uh, I know my 89 Suburban, not a vet, but it's 89, they worked on the same circuit. So I don't think it's fused, but I'll check the fuses. It could be the switch on your foot pedal. Um, whatever it is, it's nothing major. So uh, the header's off. Like I said, we're waiting on the gaskets. Gaskets they should come in Monday, and uh, we'll get them put on. Get the header put back on. Then we can take it for a little drive. It does have a spare under here, but it's a donut. <laughs> so I don't know. 
I may end up putting that donut on there just so we can maybe go to the gas station and back it's not that far just kind of take it for a little drive tires are going to have to wait because like I said the cheapest one I found the cheapest ones I found was six hundred and some dollars for a set um, I think she gave I think she said a thousand dollars for these ones um, which yeah they're about eleven hundred dollars now uh, for these exact tires uh, we just can't swing that so we got to wait a little bit for the tires uh, I don't want to put used ones on it but uh, like I said they're six hundred and some bucks a little less than seven hundred I'll get them ordered we'll get them put on but hopefully next week we can at least pull it out onto the road <laughs> you know but it'll be moving and then I'm gonna pull well I'm, I'm gonna push the uh, the Toyota up here where the vet is since it's already pulled in and then we gotta get started on the head on that and I'm gonna do the valves I got all new valves I just gotta lap them in but I need to get a cam for it I didn't mic them but I can feel a little something on that one cam lobe so that is telling me that they're about do it you know it's due for a cam it's got a half a million miles on it hopefully we can get that spark plug out of there what's left of it maybe because the center should be open I can maybe drill it and get the the walls of that what's left of the plug get them a little thinner and then back it out because it would go in but it didn't want to come out so if I flip the head over I might be able to use an easy out and back it out that way clean up the threads we'll just have to see what the issue is with it so that's a little later but I mean the car you know it's gonna need buffed out real good um, there is some paint flaking off of it and that's how I know there's been some touch up on it because that's gel coated that's a fiberglass car it's gel coated paints not gonna flake off like that so someone didn't do a real good sanding job and just shot like the the driver's mirrors all cracked up and you know stuff like that the the cover for the cap for the gas cap the cover it's gonna need respray little stuff like that that we can do later right now we want to make sure it's going to be road worthy and if it is then like I said we'll move forward um, it is going to need a water pump soon if we start driving it it's not very expensive they're not very hard to put on uh, this kind of heat it would take me a while but back in the day it would take me like 30 minutes and I'd have it done and out the door so anyway guys appreciate you watching thanks for watching um, I know I didn't do a uh, onion update this week yet I will maybe this weekend it'll be a little late it should be done every Tuesday but you know nobody watches that you know I, I can't you know since since my sister died in April I haven't broke I don't think any of my videos broke has broken 100 views since then it's stupid 25 30 views here and there but you get these people uploading stupid stuff a storm and it's just on loop for 10 or 12 hours and they get millions of views and you know I can't break a hundred views on working on a Corvette I mean yeah it's only a C4 but still it's 32 years old it's in pretty decent shape that top is original by the way so that's pretty impressive all right guys with that being said hope you have a great weekend it's Friday and uh, you know what hang on a second I think I've earned myself a beer um, I don't know if you guys remember but we was talking about this on one of my videos and I told monkey you know it'll be about two years before we get a running on the road again I'm beating it, huh, Monk? Huh? I'm beating that two-year mark, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm way ahead of schedule. All right, guys. Come here, Monk. So what I was going to say 
about the onion update, there's going to be some missing, the ones in the ground, huh, monkey? No. Yeah. They just fell over. Payback for when I mowed her flowers down and I thought was weeds, I guess. No, it wasn't payback. I just yeah, she wiped close. out, like, that whole one row. Sorry. <laughs> She's mowing the backyard. And then I hear the tractor just about stalling out, blah, 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 blah. I knew what it was. I came out, walked over to her, opened the choke, and walked away. <laughs> um. uh, she can't get that choke and throttle right, can you? No, never did. Put them both up. Start it. When it starts, put the black one all the way down, leave the orange one up. For some reason, she'll put the black one halfway down, the orange one halfway down, and it's choking out. <laughs> And that's not good on it. Now it's surging, and it, it was smoking. She's like, I didn't see any smoke. I seen dust. That was smoke. <laughs> it was fine. It's not fine. Got the grass cut. So anyway, that's the start of our weekend. Getting a little more done at a time, huh? Yeah. Maybe this weekend uh, we'll check the brake lights, see what's yeah. going on with them. Other than that, everything else works, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know if the air works. The blower motor works. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if the air conditioner works. Because when I had it started last time, I tried to kick it on. It wouldn't kick on. So. Maybe go for a boat ride. I don't know. Maybe. We need to go for a boat ride. Yes, we do. All right, guys. Stay to at least do some fishing or something. Yes. Stay tuned for more awesome videos that won't break 100 views. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Golf for now. Monkey session out. Bye, y'all. Getting excited? Yeah. <laughs> Bruno is, huh? Oh, God. I told him the story. <laughs> he keeps coming out here every five minutes, checking on him, making sure he's doing his job and getting it ready. Yesterday, I got in there, and he climbed up on my lap. He was ready to go. Yeah. He doesn't understand you have to do stuff before we can move it. And when, he, when I'm picking up my tools and stuff, he sees that. He knows I'm done, and he just puts his tail down and like, waddles back into yeah. the garage yeah. like, it ain't ready yet. <laughs> Once we get that hood done, that would be really cool because he'll just, he'll get really excited. Hood done? I mean the roof down. Or take it down. Oh, yeah. top down. I was yeah. like, I was just telling him that's the original roof. There's nothing wrong with it. And you're like, as soon as we get that fixed. No. no. <laughs> well, you said get it done. I mean, There's nothing wrong with I mean, the roof, guys. Put it down. Because besides, it down. it's not power. There's nothing that can no. go bad in it. It's just, no. you know. Not like the other car I had. Yeah. It was leaking. Yeah. Well, the fluid was leaking. Yeah. So it had a broken line. The All tree right. not have fell on it. We would have fixed it. And then the it. tree fell in. Yeah, if the tree, it, 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 when the tree hit the truck, it fell in the bed of the truck and flipped out and went over, hit the top, the roof of the car. that it bent the frame yeah those are a pain i was going to put the new you know the cover on it the new top yeah which though it's not too bad it's still about six or eight hour job <coughs> Excuse but when you bend the frame you're talking a whole bunch of work i didn't want to get into and besides that it busted the side glass and dented the door i was like hell with it we're scrapping it be done with it so yeah, you sold it. Yeah, scrapped yeah. it. Yeah, I sold it to a scrapper. Yeah. Yeah. That was a shame. 
Yeah, really it was, a, it was a fun car. car. I mean, it was a fun car. But most things happen. Now we have another fun car. Yeah, it's a convertible. Yeah, because we decided to keep this because, you know, we've been wanting a, a project car and we've been wanting another convertible. And we we're like, our next project car, we'll just have it a convertible. That way we got the best of both worlds. Yeah, I'm and Then we got to thinking and, well, well, we could have sold it a million times for 50 or 100 bucks. Okay, it's all for well, us. Yeah. So anyway, I found this tote in here with all the original stuff for for the engine. Because I told her, I said, if I had all the original stuff, I would do away that supercharger would keep it. And I found that stuff, I said, look, everything's here to put it back to original. She said, well, I wouldn't mind keeping it. I said, you want to keep it? I'll, I'll build it for you. My mother don't care. Yeah, so. she said, well, you guys do with it what you want. It's yours. <laughs> So she's going to sign it over to me. We're going to put an antique plate on it because it's antique now. Yeah, it's an antique. So that will be good. And uh, we'll use it once in a while here and there. I mean, she gets the car, car anyway, so it's willed to her anyhow. So, But her mom said, you guys want to keep it? Keep it. You want to sell it? Sell it. She said, it don't matter to me. Right. We told her we decided to keep it. She said, that's fine. Keep it. So now we have our project convertible car. There we go. Have fun in it we'll have for a, a while. project car that we'll be able to still drive as we're working on it. Mm. Providing transmission's not real bad. It does go into gear, forward and reverse, but that don't mean it's going to shift right or whatever. So. No, we won't know until we drive it. Yeah. All right, guys. <sighs> have a good one. Oh, we're leaving now? They are. <laughs> they got stuff to do. Oh, okay. They better get to work then. All right, yeah. Mikey says she's up now. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. See you in the next one. <laughs>